Yo, 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 guys. It's your boy Muhammad back again with another video. And before the video starts, I just want to apologize, first of all. Uh, I haven't been very consistent on YouTube. Honestly, I, I blame you guys. Like, if I, if, I, if I get on YouTube and I see 1 million views on every video, then I'll be happy to make videos. But when I go on YouTube and I see there's 10 views on my most recent videos, why, why would I want to make another video, man? Like, you guys bring some tears to my eyes sometimes. Um, the actual reason I haven't actually been very consistent is because I've been focusing on stacking up that bread. The cap. Yeah. But anyway, I'll tell you how that's going in a few months, maybe. Maybe a month or two. Um, regarding the clothing line, I've ordered some new um, supplies. Well, not supplies. I've ordered some new samples. We're going to see how that turns out. I'm probably going to make a video about it as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to see how this one turns out. If, if it's bad like the last one, um, I did make a video about that. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. If this one's bad, I'm just going to... I don't know, man. But anyway... I decided to record another video. Honestly, this was foreign to me. Like, I forgot to record videos and stuff. Um, I've been I've been trying to figure out for the past ten minutes and stuff. But here we are. We're back with another video. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is another reaction video. You guys probably guessed it. But I was looking at the saying, and I was saying, when the going gets tough, record a reaction video. So, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, we're back. This time, we're gonna be watching What If the World Turns Into Gold. So. The whole earth, what happens if that turns into gold? I, I know what would happen. I'd honestly start, I'd take our pickaxe, start man and everything. You're going to catch me like it's Minecraft or something. But anyway, before the video starts, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I already got it, man. I still got it, I still got it. And let's get into the video. Here in the Kurzgesagt Gesagt Labs, we only work on the most important scientific problems like, what if we knew- I honestly don't know how the hell you say this channel's name. But they are popping, like, they, they got so many, like, I just realized they got 14.5 million subscribers. I think it's a German word, um, so my cousin will be able to say that, I can't. But they, their videos are popping, like, 19 million, 8 million, 5, 5, 10, 12. Honestly, you guys, like, you guys better start watching my videos. I don't, I don't know why, what you guys are doing, but start watching my videos, man. But I'll be honest. If you got a talent like this, like if you're actually able to make videos of this quality, like you guys deserve that many subscribers or whatever. Like the quality of their videos looks so good. Look at this. Stuff. Or how about we make this elephant explode? Or who could forget? Look at this thing. It's really big. Continuing this proud tradition, let's explore the scientific mystery of what would happen to you if Earth suddenly turned into gold. The Midas Apocalypse, based on the ancient tale of King Midas, who was cursed so everything he touched turned into gold. This is actually so sick. I Before don't know we why. can explore I love this it. scenario with science, we'll first define the premise. Midas's curse is a very special phenomenon called magic, which allows us to modify physics. He's so British as well, like it just makes it better for some reason, like. The quality of these videos are amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is literally the first one I'm watching, but I'm I, I like it already. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to start reacting to all these guys' videos. Um, this one got five million views, and it's, it's only come out this month. So when we do simple maths, like <laughs> that, pretty much means I should get about one million views on this video. And if if I don't, then I'm gonna quit YouTube. So you guys better start watching my videos. Honestly, if you don't like them, tell me in the comment section below. Like, if you don't like my videos, tell me in the comment section below. It still helps me out. But so. Physics. So what happens when Midas touches something and it turns to gold? Cause gust. I don't An atom of I'm gold has 79 protons and 180 neutrons in its nucleus. The electric force of the protons on the electrons around them shapes the atom and gives gold its chemical properties, like that it doesn't rust and that it's kind of shiny and bendy. So, to make not gold into gold, we have to change atoms. Let's say Midas touches a duck. All the light elements like hydrogen, carbon... Hold up. I was daydreaming for a second. Did, did he just say gold can bend? Now, I'm not a scientist, and if you guys think I'm stupid, I got a level 7. It's probably higher than what your mom got in, in GCSEs. But I got a level 7 and A levels in GCSEs in science. All, all three as well, all three subjects I got um, level 7 in, so you can suck your mom if you say I'm stupid. But anyway, I did not know gold can bend. Carbon and oxygen gain electrons and protons and neutrons to become gold. Not only is the duck suddenly 33 times more massive, it's also much too dense. 
the gold atoms are far closer together than they like and repel each other violently, causing the golden duck to explode with the energy of half a ton of TNT, leaving only what? gold dust and a very dead Midas. This is clearly not a very good way for Midas' power to work. So what if instead, Midas' power uses the atoms that are already present and simply rearranges all particles in the matter he touches into gold? No matter is created or destroyed, instead atoms dissolve and the protons, neutrons and electrons are reassembled to make gold. However, gold is very dense, about 20 times denser than a duck. Without adding any matter, the gold duck would be a very awkward kind of foamy gold with lots of tiny microscopic gaps. This is funky and doesn't explode, which is progress. Now that we've established a sort of magic that works, what would happen if Midas stumbles? What if he touches Earth itself? That's what I was Let's saying. freeze time for just a moment. So what would happen if, if Midas just touched the ground all of a sudden? Like, this is the ground, this is him. What if he just touched the ground? I swear, like, theoretically, everything should just turn into gold, like, every single thing. That's what I And rearrange all the matter in the Earth. Just like the duck, the Earth is now solid gold, but with many tiny atomic scale gaps. While these gaps weren't a huge deal for the duck, they're a big problem for the Earth. A spongy that planet like, is not a... I just like cheese. I want to see it. If the Earth was made out of cheese, I'll just wake up and eat it, like... I don't know, that sounds a bit weird, but you know what I mean. thing that can that exist looks, that looks as gravity compresses Earth, squeezing it together to close up the gaps. As a result, the Earth contracts, shrinking to two-thirds of its radius. If you're standing on Earth's surface, you'll suddenly find yourself in freefall, like on a roller coaster, as the ground sinks away beneath you. But since the ground is falling too, it doesn't move away from you. It feels like someone turned off gravity and you and everything else would begin to float. But the ride doesn't last forever. It takes well, only yeah, 10 minutes sure. for everything to crash down and a weird 10 minutes it is indeed. And I saw you would die. <laughs> if that happens, I'm pretty sure you'd die. What the hell? And then, as abruptly as it started, it stops. The collapsing Earth has reached its desired size and gravity is suddenly turned back on for you. Hopefully you enjoyed your minutes of floating because the ground and you with it crash into the planet at 30,000 kilometers an hour, making your body splatter like a water balloon yeah, exactly. as it hits. In one instant... Uh, I can't imagine that. You know, I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to get a VR or whatever those things are where you, like, you connect them to a PS4, PS5. You put on the VR and then like it's a, it's a free for ones where you jump off a skyscraper, a skyscraper or something. I've always wanted to try that. I just want to see like... Does it actually feel real? Like, because when I'm on a roller coaster, my baby starts doing up Matrix or whatever. Like, last time it starts beatboxing. And I haven't been on the ride for a second, so you can probably guess how that experience went. But, like, I just want to feel like what, what, what VR feels like, if that makes sense. That, that's a video. Basically, all of humanity gets smashed into red puddles. This is only the start of our problems, though, since Earth imploded supersonically. The kinetic energy of the implosion is basically equivalent to detonating a planet made of TNT. Crushed together under incredible forces, Earth's core reaches a million degrees Celsius, a temperature closer to the core of a star than anything we're used to finding on Earth. As the Earth crashes into itself, it generates an enormously powerful shock wave which plows upwards, catapulting the atmosphere up and off. The Earth's surface temperature reaches hundreds of thousands of degrees and everything on it is instantly vaporized to a fluffy plasma cloud that starts to expand, but not by much. Many of the atoms that may have been new get mixed into this cloud while others boil off, escaping. I'm not gonna lie. We went from zero to a hundred real, real quick. Like, we went from touching a duck and turning into gold to touching a planet and all blowing up or whatever the hell's happening right now, turning into a star. This is pretty much a lava pit, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm getting. And again, this video is so well made, like, uh, the, the way they're putting it together, the animations, everything, you guys are talented, I'm not gonna lie, like, that, that's, that's crazy to me, I think there's people who can do something like this. ...from the atmosphere. The golden plasma outshines the sun, while the enormous radiation lifts tons of material off into space. 
Over the coming days, the plasma cloud cools and eventually freezes into a shiny little golden ball. OK, maybe this type of magic doesn't work. So if replacing atoms made the Earth so overdense that it exploded, and disassembling and reassembling atoms made the Earth so underdense that it imploded, there must be a sweet spot where the Earth does neither. What if Midas's power is such that an object is suddenly replaced by an object with the same volume made from solid gold? That magic is a little bit more magic and cuts a few extra corners, but let's see where this leads us. So, Midas stumbles again. Even though our new pure gold Earth is not expanding or contracting, it's suddenly much more massive. The density of gold is three and a half times greater than the Earth, meaning the Earth is going to get three and a half times more massive. For starters, everyone now has to contend with surface gravity that is more than three times stronger. So if you're not oh, yeah, a champion... The heavier something is, the stronger the gravity acts upon you. So the heavier the planet is, then 3.5 times stronger the gravity will be. Weightlifter, Science. who's used to carrying around a few times your body weight on your shoulders, you're probably going to be slammed to the ground by your own weight. Depending on where you were when Earth turned into gold, this alone could seriously hurt or even kill you. Trees and artificial structures collapse under stress they were never meant to sustain, while birds and planes and all things that were able to fly or float splash to the ground all around you. And you're not the only thing weighed down by the greater gravity. The weight of the atmosphere and also atmospheric pressure nearly quadruples, which is a bad thing if you like living. On its own, this won't kill you. I say it's a bad thing if you like living. What type, what type, what type of is that? I just thought I'd have to lock that out of the video, oh my god. See what I mean, like I haven't done this YouTube thing for a second, I'll just start swearing again. Scuba divers can comfortably breathe air at these pressures for a while, but unfortunately squeezing the atmosphere this much raises its temperature to 150 degrees Celsius, which is like the insides of an oven. That's why you don't go outside the the entire Earth's surface bakes, roasting anything and everything. There is no escape. Gold may be a metal, but it's about three times weaker than steel and also very malleable, which makes it very bad mountain material. Okay, so now I understand why gold is so bad in Minecraft. That's because it's weaker than steel. I don't know if um, it's weaker than iron, but that's why if you guys play Minecraft and you guys have a, have a gold pickaxe or something, you know how annoying a gold pickaxe is. It doesn't do anything. Material. The tallest mountains that can be supported are now only about two kilometers high, so whole ranges compress as their own weight basically crushes their base. It's hard to say what happens here. We're probably in for giant earthquakes and landslides as the planet is squeezed into a new shape. And it's not just mountain ranges, the differences between the continents and the ocean floor level out, causing the ocean basins to overflow, sending massive tidal waves over the Earth's surface. Mm -hmm. What remains is a planet made of gold, entirely covered by an ocean three kilometers deep, a super hot atmosphere, and a lot of dead people. The way this guy's describing everything like it's normal, like, what's going on? He's saying a planet full of water, like it's just a ball of water with a lot of dead people on it and he's just saying it in such a calm tone, like that's not calm, if that ever happens, I don't know I don't even want to be allowed for that Hmm, okay, there may be a lesson to take away here but we're not sure what it is We did all the maths though, it's in our sources document if you want to take a look If you learned anything in this video, let us know what it was so, as you might know, the things we sell in our shop are the reason we're able to publish videos. Yeah, let's relax, let's relax, let's relax. You see what this guy's trying to do? He's trying to soft promote. It's on, it's on their video, but he's still trying to soft promote now. It was wrong, and you guys take what we put out that seriously. We spent hundreds of hours on research and illustration and created this new extensive map of evolution. A new visualization of the relationships between living things that didn't exist before. And while this was obviously a lot of work and stress, it sort of exemplifies why working on this channel is so satisfying. Yeah, this guy's this guy's a crazy man, I'm not gonna lie, like the way he's just casually saying all this stuff, like I'm not gonna lie, I really like this channel. I really like this channel, so I'm gonna give it a like.
Oh, I haven't been subscribed on Brave. I mean, I haven't been logged in on Brave. But anyway, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through this channel. It's, it looks really interesting. Like, I, I just love the way they set up everything. Hold on, let, let's quickly go back and see what they used to make that little, um... Between living thing and stress, it's sort of... Oh, it doesn't even tell you. ...this before. And while this was... Oh, so they are German, they are German, never mind. That's why the channel's called that. I think they just have a person to do the voiceover in English. That's crazy, though. Let me let me take this off. That's crazy, that's crazy. I, I, I really like this channel. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I really like this channel. Tell me what you guys thought about that. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that video should have been scarier than it was. But because of all the, like, the way they do everything, the way... Um, the guy's voice, like he was just happy about it for some reason, which is, which is a bit concerning. The video was very visually appealing, so that did make it a bit less scary, if that makes sense. But there's so many stuff on this channel that I'm just looking at right now that I can actually react to, and I think that's what I'm gonna be doing, honestly. Like, you guys tell me what you guys want to see. Um, if you guys know any other video you want me to react to, just tell me in the comment section below. And yeah, that's pretty much been the video. If you guys enjoyed, you guys already know what to do. But before I tell you what to do. Even though you guys already should know what to do, check out my clover line. I'm going to have it in the description below. And yeah, now you can like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.